Hello, this is Maggie. I'm doing the uh, horoscope, the transits for Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius, for April 2020. Uh, just a generalized reading. So, as I'm looking at a chart for April 5th on the natural Aries wheel. So, beginning, it has the sun in Aries um, and Chiron, the wounded healer in Aries. So Aquarius, you guys are sextile. You and Aries get along like this. You, I always think you guys are soulmates. You're certainly good friends because it's easy, flow, flow, easy flowing, harmonious aspect for you. So um, yeah, anyway, so that's good for you. Um, currently you have, oh, I'm just going to start and go around the wheel with the transits. Also in Aries is Chiron, Chiron, the wounded healer. So it's your inner insecurities, your inner wounding that you heal and then you turn outwardly to help others. And as the water bearer, you're the servant of the universe. You, you're all about that. You're very generous as a rule um, and into, into serving, helping others to understand because you, you have a lot of analytical wisdom to share. Um, in Taurus, we have Uranus, the planet of liberation, change, rebellion. It's your ruler. <laughs> it's wreaking havoc in the money markets. It, it really is. But at the same time, um, people are realizing that they need to individuate. I think that's what it's trying to get across is you, the need to, to liberate themselves and learn it's going to be over a period of seven years, so, you know, it's, it's just still in the early degrees, but already it's teaching us to learn new ways to, um, what, it's what we value, it's our material items, and it's our uh, material world, and it's also our mon monetary assets, so our value systems are undergoing enormous change, and so Venus currently is in Gemini, the planet of communication. So it's trining with you. It's in the same element. It's air. It's all about communication. But while it was in Taurus with, with Uranus, it's a, it was very helpful um, to, to help to help to um, to help to liberate and learn how to make money in a new and different in individual way because you know Aquarians are all about um, say you know if you're an astrologer or if you're into design or whatever it is just something totally different the way you make money or your assets will look totally different than they do now um, so Venus, <coughs> Venus is helping with that. While it was in, in, in Taurus, I started designing um, my, my logo, astrology logo. So astrology would be Uranus and design would be Venus. So that's, that's what I was doing. That's what I kind of linked together. But now Venus is in Gemini as of April 5th. So that is in trying to you and Libra. So it's all about socialization, communication. Uh, your communication is on steroids because it is trining all the, it's trining, you know, Venus in Gemini and Libra. And also you've got Mars, the ruler of Aries in there, in, in your sign, giving you initiative, drive. It's also the ruler of Scorpio, uh, uh, co-ruler. Um, but then Saturn just also stationed in your sign. So it's just came out of Capricorn where it also is ruler, but in your sign, it's going to have a whole different feel to it. Capricorn was hard with that whole conjunction, stellium of planets with Pluto, the South Node, Jupiter and Saturn. All, you can see what went on with that. And so now it's moved into your sign and so still Saturn is causing restriction delays and separation so we're here we are we're all quarantined in our house trying to form groups to communicate and 
um, get humanitarian aid to where it's needed. So Mars will hopefully, hopefully help with that to really get the ball rolling because Mars's ambition, drive, vitality. Um, yeah, Mars is aggression too. It's you know, it's, so you can use that to help your technology, new ideas, or to put them into form. You know, to put your ideas into form and structure, because Saturn's all about form and structure. So Mars will hopefully get this thing going. You know, get teams of doctors and hospitals and technology. And, you know, people are going to be forming groups, but the, the, the thing about Saturn is we're all isolated. So, you know, we'll get, this could be the new normal for us, you know? I mean, it's kind of hard to get used to because there's no human touch in technology, in bots, you know? There just isn't. We could still communicate with each other. We could FaceTime, we could Zoom, we could, you know, but you can't really go... Um, places <laughs> as of yet and we don't we really don't know when but new science new technology new ideas and Aquarians you guys are so analytical as it is so use your ideas your genius ideas and whether you're a scientist or you know you're an astrologer uh, put your ideas into form um, Whatever it is, you can use that Use that Mars. Use that Martian energy, the god of war, and get it done, put it into structure. Um, there is someone I heard from recently, though, Saturn just is sitting right on his sun and just, you know, had a series of really hard events in his life. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that Saturn and Mars won't have a malefic effect in, in Aquarius. I'm really hoping that that it can just be a matter of of new technologies and you know changing structures and um, Saturn can also be solidifying structures you know just just putting getting your master's degree in whatever it is that you're doing becoming like the, the master of it uh, you know you can, you can use it in that way so yeah um, in Pisces, we have Neptune and Mercury just causing all kinds of mischief. In Pisces, it's the ruler. Neptune is the ru ruler, and so is Jupiter up in Capricorn. Um, but ne Neptune is rules the deep waters of Neptune, and so it's con it's conjoined with Mercury, planet of communication. So we're not getting communication clearly. We're getting it very bubbly, <laughs> bubbly and foggy and not a clear picture, a lot of deception, a lot of deceit, or it's just not coming out clear. Um, and so we're having to wade through and we're not getting the whole picture until later. And that's kind of how Neptune rolls. And that's why it's so good with um, spirituality, inspiration, and intuition, and healing, because it's otherworldly. So it's escapist. It's escapist tendencies. So a lot of you're either sticking your head in the sand, or you're just getting muddled communication. So that's kind of what's going on with that. So anyway, Aquarius, uh, it's all about you now. It's all about you now, ushering in the Aquarian age. So. Um, Go for it and just help us, <laughs> help us and develop new science and genius ideas and technology and humanitarian help because we certainly need it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe and um, take care of yourselves. All right. Bye.